And uh, they had this young Irish fellow came over from in the fifties, and um, you know when the country needed all the help he could get to get back on his feet, and uh, got a job. And uh, and he and his wife had baby Joe, and I used to get paid a couple of pennies to push her around in the pram so she got some fresh air. And I just was staggered. I don't have, I was a little bit refreshed by this time uh, in the evening and that's slightly over refreshed and I forgot to ask her, you know, where, what do you do, where are you? I have since made contact again, which is great, but uh, this song emerged um, in the morning. The whole thing came almost at once. As I said um, earlier on, I grew up without a dad, so dads in the street were kind of communal property and if they were, they were always busy mending bikes or motorbikes or <clears throat> calling the pigeons in or whatever it was. And uh, this young Irish fellow upstairs, Mr. Knorton, uh, I could never have written a song if it pronounced it that way, so it's now Mr. Knorton. And that's the title of the song. He took a little bit of interest in me and my brother and, uh, and this is, uh, I wrote the first verse and the others tumbled in almost exactly in sequence after it. I mean, that may not be fascinating to you at all, but that's the way it happened. And I ended up with a song written in very short time. Oh, Mr. Carterton, my memories long, though the years have flown, though the years have gone. As your wife named Marjorie, or let me, were you? from Cork or Tipperary. <laughs> oh, Mr. Carter, when we lived underneath, all you said was a lucky man had a gap between his teeth. And for a while, I had a gap too, but it goes when my big teeth came through. There was nothing I could do. Mr. Carter, you seem to laugh such a lot And that would make a smile too, as often as not Did you have a friend who was a soldier? I'm gonna join the army when I'm older I remember when you built us a soapbox cart With the wheels of a pram had a plank out in the yard Which gives a bit of string But we steered it with our feet Oh boy, it was the best one on the street And you said, Jesus, that's the best one on the street Now I know you paid a fiver for some old motorbike And they said it would run, but I thought that it might I was nearly asleep when it spluttered into life And I clenched my fist and smiled a secret smile of delight Was your first name Kevin or Mike? I remember when you made it all Girl was born and he brought her downstairs to show us all And we were allowed to kiss her And I wish she was my sister Mr. Connerton, you moved away with your wife and your baby but we stayed to finally we got rehoused too. I never will forget you. Oh, Mr. Carlton, my memory is long, though the years have flown, though the years have gone. Was your wife's name Marjorie? Oh, Mary, and were you from Cork to Bremen?